Thank you very much for that. And right now at 5.30, two friends who run together in Ventura County scared off a mountain lion after it attacked their dog on a wilderness trail. The dog survived and is already back running right where it happened. NBC4 investigative reporter Eric Leonard with a story you'll see for the first time and only on 4. We just saved his dog from a mountain lion. What an amazing feeling. Pete Deneen sitting at right and his close friend and trail running buddy Ross Monroe recounting what happened earlier this month when a mountain lion attacked Ross's dog Carter. They were out on an early morning run on the Sisar Canyon Trail in the upper Ojai Valley when they heard Carter yelp, turned, and saw the lion had the dog in its jaw. The mountain lion had picked Carter up in the back of the neck and started to run away from us, making his way towards the brush, towards the creek, to get, you know, to claim him, I guess. The two friends told me they both ran towards the mountain lion without much thought, trying to yell, but thinking back now, they say they weren't quite sure what they were going to do. Yelling and charging at it worked. It dropped Carter, and I guess you had a better visual on this, but made its way towards an oak tree, tried to grab the oak tree, stumbled, fell on its back, and then took off. Carter, who Monroe had just adopted from a shelter in Pasadena, had severe puncture wounds on his head and neck. The three then ran more than a mile back to their cars and went to the vet. The ear was the most significant of the injuries, uh, but fortunately the neck x-rays were negative um, for fra no fracture. Uh, his airway was intact the whole time, and, and he did really well. Pete and Ross met while volunteering during the Thomas fire. They say they've become close friends and regular running partners. The upper Ojai Valley is not that far from Los Angeles, but it is in the wilderness at the edge of the National Forest. The chance of a wildlife encounter out here is pretty good. Still, nothing can really prepare you for coming face to face with a mountain lion. I think this, I mean, we were definitely in shock the entire way back. Carter has lots of scars on his head and ear from the attack, but is otherwise okay. In fact, Monroe says he's already taken Carter back on the same trail where this happened. It's not going to stop me from going out there. Um, I love it. It's the backyard. It's what, we, it's what we know and love to do. And they say they're grateful they were together that morning, not sure what would have happened if either of them had been alone. I don't know if either of us has, can muster the, the bravery if we're... If we're alone in that moment, you know? It's an inseparable bond right now. I lost my dog not to a mountain lion, but to Pete, to me. <laughs> From Santa Paula, Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.